Sal for book two. It's Fire from the Rock. This is also by Sharon Draper. If you can't tell, Sharon Draper is one of my favorite African American authors. She also won the Coretta um, Scott King Award. If you don't know who Coretta Scott King is, that is uh, Martin Luther King Jr.'s wife. And so she makes awards for books that are challenging like racism and challenging the system and challenging inequality and injustices and things like that. So this book, some of you might have read this in seventh grade. It is a historical book about Little Rock. So if you don't know um, the story of the Little Rock Nine, definitely make sure that you are aware of it because living in Arkansas, it's something that you should know about. Um, West itself, the building itself, the room that I'm sitting in right now, technically was a white school when it was built. Um, these floors were segregated. I mean, like this was a white school. And so Wonder was the black school. Um, and I say that because not just black people, but obviously anybody who would qualify as black, depending on where you lived, um, maybe through the paper bag test or whatever, would go to the other school. And those schools were not even. And even today, we have issues with schools not being fully segregated. And you have your poor schools and your rich schools. And your rich schools tend to be the ones with less diversity. So this is an important, this is important, and this is important to today as well. So Fire from the Rock is about a girl who is trying to decide. They have been, they have chosen people to be part of the integration of schools at Central High School. It, some of you might have gone on a field trip to Central High School. We also play them in football, so it's pretty interesting. So there really were, the reason there's nine in Little Rock is because there was a 10th one and that person backed out. So it's kind of fascinating. But this book is all about a girl who's trying to decide like she academically can go to the white school because they're, they're requiring it. But there's so much more to it and so much more like y'all have seen, most of you guys have seen the pictures of the white people spitting on them. I mean, they were treated terribly and the governor itself, it was just, it was a political nightmare. It was a nightmare. We had to bring troops. I mean, it's crazy. And this book takes place all in it. So 1957, it doesn't seem that long away. Long away. Um, my mom and dad were both born before then. Many of your parents or grandparents, probably not your parents, but your grandparents were born before then or lived through it. And so it is a very good historical book if you're looking for something. It's one of the few about this topic for young adults. So the book is called Fire from the Rock. It's by Sharon M. Draper. And it is all about a girl who's trying to decide, does she want to be one of the first black people to go to a white school? All right. Have a great day, guys. Happy Tuesday.